Hello, Darren Alf here from BicycleTourningPro.com. I am in the U.S. state of Maine right now, and just recently I was traveling down the road towards Acadia National Park when all of a sudden I spotted five young bicycle tourists coming at me in the opposite direction on the same road that I was traveling down. So they passed me, and then I turned around and followed them for a little bit and eventually caught up to them and uh, stopped and introduced myself, told them that I was the Bicycle Touring Pro, and asked what they were doing and where they were going. It turns out that they were a group of young bicycle travelers participating in a group bicycle tour with a company called Teen Treks, which is a company that takes teenagers on bicycle tours all across the United States. So on this particular tour, there were two tour leaders and three young teenagers on the tour. So while I was talking to the group, I pulled out my camera and asked if I could videotape the tour leaders just to ask them about what they were doing and about the company Teen Treks and also about the teenagers who participate in the tours. Who are these teens and where do they come from and how do they find out about the trips and how do they take to bicycle touring? So here is my interview with Ben and Katie, the tour leaders from TeenTreks.com. Well, my name is Katie. My name is Ben. And... <laughs> we are leading for a company called Teen Treks. We're leading bike tours for teenagers. Yeah. We started a little bit, well we, we met up in Boston, and then we took the train out just to avoid the city, and then we rode from pretty much Boston up to Acadia National Park. About two weeks. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. how long we did it. Yeah. And where do the teenagers come from? How do they find out about this? Well. It seems like a lot of their parents were once bike tours at some point, and so that seems to be how a lot of parents search the internet for bike touring companies for teenagers. I don't know. I've had some self-starters on my oh, trips. Oh, yeah? Yeah. One kid was saying how he was just like sitting in chemistry class one day, and he was just Googling teen trips. And then he leaned over to his friend and was like, do you want a bike from New York City to Montreal with me? And his friend was like, sure. And then they went on a trip with me. <laughs> like, okay. okay. I was like, that so there's was, that too. Yeah. I don't know, it depends, but like I had kids from Seattle, California, New York State, Massachusetts, everywhere. Really. Yeah. On this trip we have only three kids, it's a smaller trip. Mm -hmm. We have one from Michigan, one from New York, and one from Massachusetts. And what's the age range? It's like 12 to 18 I believe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All the kids I've been riding with have been between like 14 and 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On our trip, we have 14 to 16 this time. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. And what's like the average daily distance and overall distance? That well, the riding? company has like a like a, a variation of trips. There's some pretty easy ones that do like 15 to 25 a day, and then like they also ride across the country over the summer. So you could be doing like 70, 80. Yeah. Yeah. Our trip is around averaging about 40 to 45 a day. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a moderate one. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And how are you finding it as tour leaders? Love it. It's I'm just... having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just love being able to, we're taking a vacation, we're getting paid for it, and we get to hang out with some pretty cool teenagers and just kind of have fun ourselves. and swim whenever we feel like it and just see a lot of really cool sights eat as much ice cream as we'd like and awesome. get to sleep under the stars almost every night so yeah yeah it's like really hard to beat um i just wish i could figure out a way to do it more than just the summertime <laughs> yeah how did you first learn about bike training yourselves or get into it this is new for me i got this bike like couple months ago now maybe mm. and I didn't have a bike before oh. and so well I just went to like a, a bike touring workshop at a bike shop near my house and I met the owner of Teen Treks um, there and he was kind of just talking generally about bike touring and I was like that sounds pretty cool and I was chatting with him he's like you should do it and I was <laughs> like it's like I don't have a bike he's like that's fine you should do it so I got a bike and yeah. now I'm leading teens on bicycle trips so yeah it's been good that's cool. great yeah i was i started leading for this company like eight years ago when i was mm. in college and i just had a bicycle at the time and i was just commuting by bicycle i don't know and i just kind of started falling in love with biking in general so um i think i was just looking for a summer job and, and that's what i ended up finding and then i kind of keep coming back and leading different trips for them and 
Yeah, I just think it's a really cool way to travel. I like the idea of like having a journey along the way to your de destination mm -hmm. and yeah, not focusing so much about where you're going, but like how you get there and what you do along the way. Yeah, it's definitely a day by day thing. Yeah. A little bit of challenges and opportunities and things to look at along the way. Yeah. Yeah. What are your goals for these guys? What, do they have specific goals besides like accomplishing the trip hmm. itself? Um, that's a good question. Some degree of like feelings of accomplishment and like maybe empowering them a bit. Because I know a lot of kids like, and even for myself on my first tour, like the first few days were hard, but like by the end of it, it was, like I was having a lot of fun. I was feeling good, like I was feeling a lot better on my bike. I was feeling yeah. more capable. So like, for one, just like feeling better about your ability to like move forward, you know? Yeah. And I really like, these trips are unsupported, so we don't have a van following us. So the kids kind of learn how to fix their own bikes, they cook their own meals, they clean up after themselves, and um, and also, you know, have the maps and are navigating through cities and asking strangers questions. So I think they're learning all sorts of skills um, that a lot of teenagers don't get to learn necessarily if they don't have an opportunity like this. And so, yeah, I just think it teaches them independence and um, also helps them see like what they're capable of and gives them some travel skills early in life, mm -hmm. which I think is really neat. Yeah, it's like yeah. half a bike touring company, half a grocery shopping company. <laughs> we hit the grocery stores every day. Yeah, and we learn to budget um, every day with, our, with what we have to work with and cook for as many people as we have um, with our budget. So yeah, it's just things that this kind of trip gives kids opportunities to learn. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So where can people learn more about it if they want to sign up themselves or their kids perhaps for a trip like yeah, this? Yeah, so if you're looking, if you have a, a youth between the ages of what, 12 and 18, yeah. you can check out teentreks.com and you can take a look at our daily blogs. Every trip is posting daily blogs and they're all over the country right now. Um, you can check out the leader profiles. You can look at what trips we're offering. We have offered this year and what we'll be looking at next year. And if you're looking for a summer job leading bicycle tours, you can do the same. Get in touch with management and yeah. apply. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. All thank right. you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. So there you go. There's my interview with Ben and Katie. How would you react if you were one of the teenagers on one of these cycling adventures? Do you think you would enjoy the trip or do you think it would be a challenge? And also, do you think that you would send your teenager on a bicycle touring adventure like this? Leave a comment down below and let me know. One of the things you may have noticed is that I do not have any of the teenagers in my interview uh, that I did here. And that was on purpose because Ben and Katie weren't sure if legally I could put the teenagers in my video. So I only interviewed the tour leaders, the teenagers were standing right behind me as I was doing this interview, and all three of them, there were two girls and one guy, I thought they were great kids. Uh, in the, Just in the few minutes that I met them, I was like, dang, I wanna be a part of this group. Yeah, I just really liked the kids overall. So unfortunately, I didn't get them on video, but uh, just know that uh, I really like the kids. I think they were great. And they were there right behind me, but uh, I just, for, for legal purposes, didn't get them on camera. So anyways, that's it. I am Darren Alf from BicycleTurnPro.com. I hope you found this interesting and educational. To learn more about Teen Treks, go to teentreks.com. And if you wanna learn more about conducting your own bicycle tours anywhere in the world, Go to my website at bicycletouringpro.com and pick up my free starter guide which will teach you everything that you need to know in order to get started with bicycle travel. Okay, that's it. I'm Darren Alf from bicycletouringpro.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Bye-bye.